this uh, video is dealing with uh, the truth of Scripture, but remember, truth will set you free. A lie will get you into liability. And we're going to read out of Mark uh, chapter 12, uh, dealing with uh, when Jesus was being questioned about paying tax or the tribute, the money, uh, to Caesar. And so uh, we're going to read from verse 14. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and defer to no one. You are not partial to any, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay a poll tax to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. And they brought one, and he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were amazed at him. Now, we have to look at this, that we also have the term alienable and unalienable. We have to look at the word private, and we have to look at the word public in this manner. So, first we're going to look at the word private, Because when we were told in Scripture, admonished to be ye separate, be unequally, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, to be ye separate, separate is understood in law to mean private. So we were being admonished to be private and to not be part of the collective or the public. So when we look up the word private in its meaning, just bear with me here for a second. private belonging to oneself not to the state to separate separate peculiar remember god chose a peculiar people out of the scripture not a not a public but they were private they were separate they were peculiar and you will be viewed very peculiar when you go down truth in a world of fiction so when we're talking just in simplicity, even on a name, and an officer of the law in the legal asks you, what is your name? Well, there's a limit to what he's allowed to ask you. He can only ask you as a public officer for what it belongs to the public or the state. And the only thing that belongs to the public is that assigned surname that was placed there to induce you into the public. So can the officer demand you to give your individual name, your unalienable name to him? Well, let's look at a law case. And this is a case that actually, to some extent, I was involved with in research and uh, know the individual that was involved in this uh, directly. And this is an Ontario Court of Justice uh, this is the transcript. And what was quoted in it was, there is no provision in the Canadian legal system which allows an individual to transfer his given names to anyone, whether to a person, a corporation, or a trust. Any document purporting to achieve that goal is in, is in and of itself invalid, and having such a document notarized does not validate the document. So, when we look at the statement of birth record that's filled out at the hospital by the parents, should they have placed the given name on the record? Or left that literally not applicable? Because it doesn't apply to the state. The only thing that applied to the state was the legal surnames being used by the two legal participants. This would be left to the age of election for the child to decide whether he was going to do that. And that's why they provide that. And it's spoken of in the legislative acts, at least in Ontario on the Vital Statistics Act, that speaks about the fact where a child's given name wasn't placed on the record. And then left it up to them later to decide, to consent, to be involved. So when we're talking about the word provision, okay, we're gonna go again to the dictionary just to clarify this. 
when it says there's no provision in the Canadian legal system, what does provision mean? Well, it's a clause as in a legal document, agreement, etc., stipulating or requiring some specific thing or condition. Well, they don't have the authorization or the authority or the power to demand that. They cannot demand your given name. So that's private. And if you don't state that, well, then when you go in and expose your privates in the public, well, that's indecent exposure. And therefore, you're going to pay the penalty in their world because that was your own consent to do so. And therefore, they're going to have authority to move forward on it because they're looking for someone who's trespassing on their name. And unless they find someone public, uh, private touching the public, which is unclean, the unclean thing, the dead body corporate, they're going to proceed on you with full force and authority. So therefore... Are you rendering to Caesar what is really Caesar's? Or are you rendering to them what is God's? Because your God-given name doesn't belong to Caesar. 